Okay, this is just a quick tip on working with the red files inside of Adobe After Effects. Now we saw in the Premiere tutorial that you can uh, access the red source settings inside Premiere and really change everything you would find for the most part inside the, the actual red camera. So you can change the ISO, the exposure, the red, green, curves, you name it. So inside After Effects, you can do the same thing. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use one of the uh, Cine Dust files here. And do note, as I uh, place that, I'm in a 4K composition right now. If I were to zoom out a little bit, you see just in a 4K composition with the uh, 8K file, you have just still a ton of room to scale and uh, change the look. So even with one mat, with all this room, with an 8K file, with such a huge file, you know, you don't have to scale it down and use that entire file. You have the option to really uh, move around and just shifting this a little bit, it's gonna kind of give it a different look and feel. Now, if I were to go into inside of 1080p and drag and drop on, into a 1080p comp, I mean, this just shows you how much room you have uh, with these files. Now to access, now what I'm going to do is just right click, go to transform, and fit to comp. All right. So now when you want to access the red source settings inside After Effects, all you have to do is go to the shot you're working on. In this case, I got my Cine Dust Mat. I'm going to right click, go to interpret footage go to main and inside my main options here I'm gonna see more options and now I have my red source settings I can change the ISO shadow saturation everything you're gonna see over here in the left hand side I have my curves all built out inside the file so I am just changing the uh, the color tone of this individual file so with this option and, and th again this is one of the reasons I wanted to create the cine cloud and upload all the uh, raw data files is uh, just to give you that option so that in and, and for people that don't have access to working with red footage all the time um, now you do so as I said in the Premiere uh, overview download these files use them for your projects and uh, at first just experiment just get into the file get into the red source settings play around with the colors and and experiment come up with different looks but have fun mm -hmm.